For my son's fourth birthday party, I hired a magician named Happy the Clown. He appeared at our Berkeley home in tie-dyed Oshkosh Magosh overalls and a magic guillotine. <laughs> When he showed the instrument of death to the ten tie-dye birthday guests, they screamed with joy. <laughs> but when Happy asked for a volunteer to put his finger in the machine, the room fell silent as a tomb. Let me show you it's harmless, he said, and stuck a carrot with his head of greens in the little guillotine and dropped the blade. Half the carrot fell to the floor. with a real finger. <laughs> All at once, the bloodthirsty four-year-olds suddenly sat on their hands. Hey, Rainbow, Black Panther, Unicorn, Ponderosa Pine, who will lay his finger on the line? <laughs> the boys were silent to a man. Establishment flunkies. <laughs> okay, suckers, I get paid to do this. How about a mother? <laughs> cooking weenies. <laughs> Up stood my friend Madeline, who always looked ethereal. She sidled up to the wizard and his ambiguous contraption. Finger please, says Happy. Anyone you want. I mean anyone you don't want. <laughs> the children who start looking for their mommies. The executioner said to me, just to be on the safe side, a bowl from the kitchen, see who A groan rose from the petite bourgeoisie. As I fetched a bowl, I didn't like. No. And tried to steady it under Maddie's trembling hand, which was white as white out. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm ransacking my brain for who recommended this clown. <laughs> I see France. Repeat after me. 
mes enfants. I see London, I see France. Whoosh falls the blade, and Madeline, blood rushing back to her face, waves all ten fingers in the metaphysical Berkeley air.